so we're here doing an, an interior job here. We're uh, surface prepping the floor. We've uh, got a cure and seal agent on it, and we're going to be uh, grinding it off, getting down just to the beginning of the aggregates. And uh, after we get that, we'll clean the floor, and we're going to start staining it and then sealing it uh, with uh, endurable stain and sealers. All right, so the last thing we did here, we were uh, grinding the floor and prepping, and now we've taped it all off, cleaned it, and we're going to be ready to uh, start applying one of the, of the larger base colors of this uh, project here. We've got about four colors we're working with. So we've already mixed up our uh, Endurable Stain. And as you can see, we've got patterns all throughout this house. And we've mixed up uh, the stain in a regular concentration, one to one, wa with water. And we're actually blending two colors together, which um, are uh, Sonora and Saddlehorn. All right, so we're now applying a color here. We're all taped off and worked our way out of the back of the house. And we're going with a nice fine mist, that's the first coat here. And then we'll come back with another fine uh, mist second coat. And again, this is stain. This is the endurable stain. This is not the endurable dye. Again, these are a Sonora and Saddlehorn mix. They make a really nice kind of a golden brown color. So that's going to dry out, and we'll get another coat on it, and then we'll seal it. All right, so we're going to apply a light second coat here of our endurable stain, and we're still going to get a semi-transparent look. This uh, concrete we had it ground at 40 grit, and it was a uh, curing compound on here, so you have to get that compound off, otherwise the stain will not penetrate, they will sit on top, uh, and we'll get a very inconsistent, blotchy look. So, after this coat, we are going to seal the whole thing. Alright, so we're here the next morning. Um, after we've done the endurable stain and sealer, well, one coat of each, actually two coats of stain, one coat of sealer, and uh, we've started to pull up our paper. As you can see, we've got uh, a nice color. It's gonna get more vibrant, and it'll get uh, a better sheen to it with more applications of sealer. So one of the last things we have to do here is stain these square areas here and seal them with the endurable concrete sealer. Once we have done that, we will then prepare to move on to the final stage of the process and that would be to seal the whole floor with a coat of our Endurable F1 sealer and we will be doing this in a recoat window after the last coat of Endurable concrete sealer has been put down.